<laughs> so there's this one player that is um, doing some special things in the desert by the name of Devin Yes, Booker. he is. And, you know, yeah. this is always the interesting question about the MVP, and we have it a lot about the WNBA, about the NBA, is we how much do we impact – winning on on the award and you know when you pair that with the numbers he's put in, putting up and just the way he's played even with Chris out for long stretches yeah. with DeAndre out um, and I think yeah. you can say the same argument with Jason he's putting these huge numbers and his team's winning like how do you balance yeah. that you know when you have the fate uh, of these guys in in your vote and you impact their lives so incredibly I just had this conversation with Devin Booker D and, you know, he said, I basically said, I, I said exactly what I said to you guys about what's at stake in the vote and how it keeps me up at night. And I said, there's money at stake. And he just looked at me and goes, lots of money. Listen, he's a lock for first. He, he's a lock for first team for me. Like, lock. Somebody on a 62, right now, 62 win season is going to make all NBA. In fact, I want to tell you the truth. I made a mistake earlier this year. We get to vote for the all-star starters. I knew he and Chris Paul would be on the all-star team, and I copped out and used that as a reason. Right. Not, and that's ridiculous. They had He had earned the right. They were 10-4 and four without Chris Paul, and his numbers, like, he was north of 30 points. He's been brilliant, D. Your points is well taken. I don't know if he finishes top five. That's how competitive that MVP vote is. Um, but it's mm -hmm. hard. It's no joke. Like, I, I remember stressing about it voting for all WNBA teams. I stress about it right. now.